there's a lid that comes with it. But look how like, oh my gosh, just look how nice that's. Oh my God, I actually just dropped it. Um, I'm gonna put my hair up, I think, because I feel like I look like a turd. But you know, look how like, I look like a Roblox character. I'm so like square. Like that new Kanye West song. No, no, like. My new room is going to be very bohemian, there's going to be loads of greenery, um, there's going to be loads of stuff like this, I'm going to keep this I think, and just loads of stuff. I went to the range or something in Cambridge, which is like a town, city, town, I don't know what Cambridge is, near me, and I went to the range and I found this beautiful, like, um, like a stool, there you go, it's handmade from India. And look how beautiful it is. Look at all the designs. And my favourite part. It has a big elephant on it. It was £39.99. I love it so much. My cats sleep on it, hence why there's always a cat hair. But I will give it a good old clean before I move house. But it has like little tassels coming off it. And it's just so beautiful. Yes, yeah, so I'm very excited to move house. To get out of Berry, because Berry is shite. And just meet new people, get a new job. I'm going to hopefully work in a pub. Just like two doors down from my house. And yeah, so I'm going to be vlogging the whole experience. What I really want to do is, I don't think my mum and dad will let me. Because it's an old Victorian house. So the doors are like original Victorian doors. But like my door there, it's really plain and white. But what I really want to do is get like old Vogue magazines that I can just get offline. Or just like you know, old-fashioned, colourful magazines and collage, <laughs> my door. I don't know where I got the idea from. I think I was watching a YouTube video and this girl was doing, like, a room tour because, you know, when you're, like, moving house or you're in the mood to watch some sort of video. But this girl had, like, old stickers on her door from when she was younger and she hates them. But I really like, I really like how messy her door was. So I was like, and I love collaging. Like collaging is like one of my favorite things ever. I really want to do it to this. Cause as you can see on the side of this, my cat has scratched. So what I want to do is sand it all down, get it back to that original wood and pine, um, get old magazines and collage the hell out of it and then sell it. Cause I done it to my chest of drawers downstairs and it sold 40 pounds. I just put some wallpaper on the drawers, like these three drawers. And it was like cactus wallpaper, so I was like, hey, a lot of young girls will like this because, you know, young teenage girls love cactuses. But this woman and her husband brought it because they are obsessed with cactuses. And I was like, bargain, 40 quid, thank you. So I got 40 pounds from it. From it. So what I really want to do is just do really something artsy with that one that will take time. To collage the doors, so collage these keep the side the original pine and then get for the top like a cool like fabricy wallpaper from paper chase material wallpaper and put it on the top and then rip it a bit to make it look a bit old so the pine comes through or would that be too much oh i don't know but yeah that's what i like doing in my spare time basically i like upcycling different things and selling it for money because i'm poor and especially now that we now that we're moving house, with all this crap, we're not going to keep that obviously. So I might as well do it up and sell it. Love to go to a shitty antique store and buy loads of weird shit. Found these little cute little elephants. I mean, they're not really antiques. I don't know why they're in an antique store, but they were like just to buy. Look how cute they are, like little elephants, and they match my jewels that I got for my for Christmas um, for my in laws. Well, not my, I'm not married, my sister's in-laws. And I have this, as you can tell, I kind of really love elephants. And then I went to another antique store and saw this with my dad. It's handmade. And I was like, Dad, I love it. And it was coming up Christmas. And every Christmas Eve, me and my sister gets to open like a little present, you know. She comes around on Christmas Eve and we have like fun and games. And my sister's 25 and she's moved out, so Christmas is like a fun time and we all get together. And we opened little presents and my dad surprised me with this. I was so happy. It opens up, obviously. I've just put some of my um, incense sticks and my henna in there, which I might actually do some more henna. But these incense sticks, they're originally from a 
a tree and so they're naturally scented so these are just cut from a, like a special tree I forgot what it is but they're really good for anxiety so I got a couple and then if you want to see my incense collection I have some here in this really cute I got this from a charity shop actually look how cute it is okay if that isn't cute there's a lid that comes with it but look how like oh my gosh just look how nice that's oh my god I actually just dropped it as you can see I kind of like have a theme with all this kind of bohemian stuff I like to think I'm very bohemian when it comes to my like style of in design and like interior design and all this so this salt lamp basically you put a tea light in it and I like I like this one because look how orange it is oh yeah and it just burns um it just burns and it's really good for stress, anxiety, if you have um, asthma and all this. That's only if you're a spiritual person, by the way. Don't go buy an assault lamp if you're not really into it. Because if you don't believe in it, then it's not going to work. That's my little interior design idea for my room. Look how nice that is as well. Um, I have so many ideas. I'm very excited. And I hope my parents don't mind me vlogging all of us, you know... <laughs> Um, moving house you know they always inspire me to do what I want to do and you know YouTube is what I want to do so they'll be okay with it this is my garden I have a summer house there when we move house we get in a massive summer house in the back of our garden that's bigger than that but look how cool my dad's done it you got this dog poo everywhere my dad built this obviously it was like originally deconstructed then you open the door and then look how cute, you just come into a little summer house. We have couches, which I think we are selling on. As you can tell, they're kind of gross. This is just a place where they can really show off their interior without putting it, putting it, putting it all in the house. We have a and now I'm drinking my favorite cider. Um, I am 18 years old, by the way, this is legal. And plus, I'm in my own house, so. This is my favourite cider. Not sponsored. <laughs> Actually, I wish. I'd so sponsor this because um, I'm not a massive drinker. I don't drink vodka or I don't drink beer or anything. If I go out on a night out, literally two ciders will do me well. I don't get drunk. <laughs> I have fun, but I don't get drunk. I'm just not a fan. I don't care if other people get drunk. I just don't like it myself. Um... But passion fruit and an apple, old, old mount cider. Get it. It literally, wait, let me show you. Is this legal? Is drinking on YouTube illegal? It doesn't taste like alcohol. That's why I like it. I hate alcohol that tastes like alcohol. This doesn't taste like alcohol one bit. What does it taste like? Okay, you know when you drink alcohol and it kicks you in the back of the throat, you're like, oh, that's really alcoholy. This isn't. It literally just tastes like, like starburst in a drink. Best cider out there, honestly. I was a Koppenberg, Copperberg, Copper, whatever it's called, girl. But now I'm an old Mount cider girl. My mum and dad brought me different flavors downstairs, but passion fruit and apple is my favorite. So cheers. Oh wow, look at my makeup. Look at my makeup. And I literally feel like I look like a drag queen today. That's really cute. So, I'm going to end this really random vlog here. My hair is coming out of my bun. I look so disgusting. Oh my. But basically, this is just... I just wanted to see... It's just a really random vlog. I just wanted to see, like... If you guys like it, I guess. Because I guess I want to start vlogging. But if you guys don't enjoy it, then let me know. If you do enjoy it, let me know. If you do enjoy it, subscribe. If you don't enjoy it subscribe um i think i'm leaving college this week so i'll have nothing else to do so i will be vlogging a lot and i will be making youtube videos so i hope you guys enjoy um if you do give it a like and subscribe if you haven't already um yeah i appreciate everything at the moment in my life i'm very grateful for everything and i've always loved youtube so i really want to give it a go I'm really tired. It's literally quarter to eight, quarter to eight at night, and I'm shattered. You can hear it in my voice. I have a headache as well, so 
um yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video i'm sorry it's really random and it's just me talking about moving house there will be like a better vlog tomorrow but i don't know if i should do vlogs weekly so like film everything in the week and then put it in one vlog if you like longer vlogs or if i should do like daily vlogs where they're like eight minutes long or like 10 15 minutes long each but just let me know if you enjoy it but yeah thank you for watching this really random vlog if you made it this long type apples in the comments Bye.